Hello everyone. May Almighty God bless you, guide you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is how to stop worrying with practical steps. Hallelujah. So many of us, even those strong in, in faith, wonder how they can stop worrying. Living in a fallen world gives you lots of to worry about. But living in a relationship with Jesus can free you from ever having to worry about anything. No matter what happens in your life, you don't have to worry about it. If you choose to rely on Jesus to help you manage it and find peace in the process, I'm going to show you some steps that you use to stop worrying. So if you have been in the habit of worrying, let's go of worrying today and embrace the peace that Jesus offers you. Here are the steps I want to show you. Step one, recognize how little worry can help you. Worry doesn't have the power to prevent anything bad from happening in your life. Also, the bad things that you worry about may never end up happening, and many good things can happen instead. So worry is completely useless. Number two, recognize how much worry harms you. Worrying doesn't benefit you in any way, but it does harm you in many ways. Worry harms your health physically, such as by contributing to high blood pressure, causing insomnia, and suppressing your immune system. As a medical doctor, I'm telling you this. Mentally, by sending a stream of negative thoughts into your mind. And spiritually, by encouraging fear rather than faith in God. Worry also wastes valuable time and energy that you could be using for better activities. Number three, distinguish between worry and concern. Why is it healthy to be concerned about something? It's unhealthy to worry about it. That's because concern motivates you to do something to solve problems or plan helpful ways to cope with them. But keep worrying keeps you stuck on problems and distracts you from planning any helpful ways of dealing with them. Number four, identify what triggers worry in your life. You can begin to worry whenever you encounter a situation that feels out of control. You feel vulnerable or powerless. You let your imagination run away with negative thoughts about what may happen in the future. Or you experience a loss that is traumatic, difficult, unexpected. Once you understand that what triggers worry in your life, you can begin to guide against worry in those situations. Number five, make a crucial choice. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop bad things from happening at all because you live in a fallen world. However, you do have the choice of how you respond to whatever happens. You can decide to stop dwelling on worrying some thoughts about the, how they enter your mind and to pray about those about those thoughts instead inviting god to walk in the situation about which you have been worrying choose to pray instead of worrying number six trust god to deal with what worries you since god wants the best for you it's always with you and has the power to do anything you can trust any worrying some situation to him and invite him to work it out for the best. When you struggle to trust God with something that is worrying you, ask God to reveal whatever unbelief or unhealed wounds may be preventing you from trusting him completely. Confess those to God and ask him to give you the faith and healing you need. Number seven, change your worrisome thoughts rather than suppressing them. The more you try not to think about something that worries you, the more preoccupied your mind becomes with that thought, which makes you think about it even more. So suppressing thoughts about, you, about your worries doesn't work. Instead, pray for the Holy Spirit to renew your mind 
and help you evaluate how every thought that enters it compares to biblical truth. When the Holy Spirit shows you that a worrisome thought doesn't reflect what is true, you can replace that thought with a new thought that, that is based on the reality of what God says that is true in your life. Number eight, develop healthier life habits. Unhealthy lifestyle habits may make you more prone to worrying than you would be if you took care of yourself the way God intends. So eat nutritious meals, drink plenty of water, reduce or eliminate alcohol and caffeine, avoid smoking, get plenty of sleep, exercise regularly, say no to activities that you don't really want to do or can, can't reasonably handle in your schedule, and practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing and releasing tension in your muscles. <laughs> Number nine, look beyond your circumstances to God. When you focus your thoughts too much on your circumstances, it is easy for your mind to wander off into worrying. But if you focus on God, who is in control of your circumstances, you will get to know more about His great power and love, which will help you see that it makes sense to stop worrying and start trusting God. Number 10, use prayer and meditation to reduce stress and anxiety. Brain scans and EEG monitoring have both shown that praying and meditation can significantly reduce the stress and anxiety that can trigger worry. Pray regularly about whatever concerns you and meditate on Bible verses that describe God's comforting promises to you. Keep in mind that everything is possible. Hallelujah. When you believe, you don't have to worry when you remember that God is 